Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I am going to do another studio vlog. I haven't been working in the studio for quite a while. I've had about zero motivation, to be honest, <laughs> to do anything. But I've been wanting to bring out a little range of face masks for a while now because I made myself a few quite a few months ago now and I find them really comfy and they just work really well for me. They're three ply thick face masks. Um, so nice and protective and they're 100% cotton so nice on the skin as well so yeah I thought you guys might enjoy following me along making a load of face masks and I'm also going to show you how I take photos of them to put them on my website and everything like that and Florence is barking up. <laughs> so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video so this is the little setup I have going on right now these are all of the pattern pieces that I cut out because it's just quicker to have multiple pattern pieces than just one. So I had loads of those and I just cut all of these masks out. These are the backs and these are the fronts with the lining. So I've just got this really nice soft cotton lining that goes in the middle and I've got some really nice prints in these face masks. I've even got a few Liberty prints in here which are just gorgeous and I also have some sort of denim looking twill ones which I'm not sure how they're going to turn out but I thought they'd be worth giving a go and then these are what make the masks so comfortable I find these are adjustable elastic and I've managed to find them in the most gorgeous pink shades and then these ones are just white so yeah I'm going to put you on a tripod and I'm going to show you step by step how to make a mask so that you don't just sit and watch a time lapse straight away. You can see exactly the steps I'm doing and yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. So this is everything you're going to need if you want to make the mask. Um, I have two of the little elastics. These ones are the light pink shade and here are the top and middle sandwiched together. This is a Liberty fabric. This is probably my favourite print that I have. So I have the good side of the left and right and I just place them together and then I put the middle fabric that's being sandwiched in the middle just on the top and the back and then I'm just going to sew down the front. And then this is what's going to be next to your face, so at the back, and I'm just going to stitch a line down here. Once I've stitched the front seams, I'm then going to overlock them to make sure they're nice and neat and there's not so much bulk in the front of the face mask. So I have now sewn down the front seam and overlocked them so the edge is now really nice and neat and then I am going to just fold them this way and give them a little iron and then I will put them together and sew across the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to fold them out then I'm going to place good side to good side and I'm going to stitch along the bottom and then along the top. So I'm now going to turn the mask inside out and then I'm just going to find all of the edges and press them down so that they are nice and even on both sides um, and then I will show you the next step. So now at the sides I am just going to turn these inside by about one centimeter and press those down and then that's going to be ready to stitch in the elastic in the corner. I've now got the elastic toggles and these are going to be inserted in the sides. Um, the only thing with this is to make sure you try not to twist it. Um, so I like to use my little thread cutting scissors 
to really help push it right into the corner. So I've just sewn the elastic in down the sides and I also did a top stitch along the top and the bottom just of about 0.4 centimeters and that just really helps when you wash the mask so that the mask doesn't sort of like fall in on itself so yeah there we go that is the first finished mask so now basically I'm just going to follow all of those steps and do that for the rest of the masks. I think I'm probably gonna have nightmares about sewing masks after this because I have so many to get through. I'm kind of looking forward to it in a weird way. It's gonna test my patience. So, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm now going to sew the mammoth amount of masks. <laughs> and I'm also going to find something Christmassy to watch. I'm gonna watch some Bridget Jones. <laughs> my crazy bunting <laughs> overlocking going on again. These are all of the front pieces sewn with the inside and I still need to go and sew all of the backs together but I'm just going to trim these and separate them from each other. And I finished Bridget Jones so now I need to find something else to watch. I like to put on films that I've seen loads of times so I don't really need to pay much attention to them. Okay, I'm gonna watch the holiday because I've been listening to Christmas music and I am very in the Christmas spirit. That's what I'm gonna watch next whilst I cut all of these out. And I've got on this big long cardigan as well because I was just really cold and I didn't want to put my dressing gown on. And of course, love can also be found, even if just for the night. a break this afternoon I took Flory on a walk with my mum and did some baking and now I'm going to sew all of the backs together and piece them together ready to sew tops and bottoms probably tonight I might try and do that and then the ironing out is probably going to take a lot longer than I thought because it's kind of fiddly making sure everything's perfect so I've just been laying out all the fronts these are all sewn together now and then with the denim style, I did a double top stitch down the center. So it sits really nicely now. And I'm very excited about those ones. I've just been initially like sorting them into possible duos that I could sell them in. So now I'm gonna go and sew all of these backs together. Mm. Plunk. So it's now the next day and I have just finished sewing all of the backs. My iron is making some funny noises in the background, if you can hear that. But now I'm going to lay out all of the fronts and put all of the backs on top and then stitch over the tops and the bottom. I am actually really enjoying making these. It's very different to making a dress because there's so many different stages with a dress. And there's quite a few of these, but there's just a lot of doing the same thing. So yeah, let me show you the next step I'm going to do. So the next step I'm going to do is just to take one mask and one back and put the back facing the front and I'm just going to stitch along the bottom and along the top and then overlock all of those. It'll probably take the rest of today. It's about, what's the time? 
it's nearly two o'clock so yeah I expect this will take most of my day So I've sewn all of the twill face masks together and turned those inside out. They need a really good iron and I have an army of face masks still to go um, but I'm just going to put little piles in front of me so that I don't get too overwhelmed and once I've finished a pile I will go and have a little break otherwise I just get a bit overwhelmed. Also the dressing gown has come on. <laughs> too hot now. stop here for today. I have sewn them all together and turned them inside out and then tomorrow I just need to iron them and attach the toggles and do the top stitching and then they will be finished but I have a feeling the top stitching will probably take quite a while. This is today's setup. I have managed to lower my ironing board and I'm gonna sit on that chair. I've started ironing the masks already and I'm gonna watch some Netflix whilst I iron. <laughs> How old am I? Um, about 55. <laughs> but yeah I've got all of these to iron today and I think that's actually going to take me quite a while. It's now the next day. I have all of the masks nicely ironed and ready to have their little toggles sewn in. My mum has just come in and fitted her walking foot onto my machine, which is meant to be good for sewing over bulky fabrics. So fingers crossed this helps out a lot. Let's put them in piles of the colour toggle that they're going to go with. White one is going to have white and then these are going to be the light pink probably and these this one but need to figure that out. I just wanted to show you guys a little trick that I found very helpful when sewing really bulky bits like the corners. So for starters the walking foot has been so helpful and then I've just rolled up like quite a thick bit of fabric about the same height maybe a bit higher and you just want to lift up the foot place it behind and then when you start sewing it just goes so much easier than when it doesn't have it. now the evening of the next day and I am going to put my little stamp inside the mask. I didn't want to put any labels on them because I just think they look a bit strange with labels sticking out and the reason why I wanted to put a stamp inside is because then you will know the top and the bottom of the mask because there is a difference in the top and the bottom. They may look quite similar but 
the top is more pointy so I'm just going to put a little stamp in the left just my initials here and I'm going to do that for all of these so I'm just going to use these little rubber stamps and some fabric dye or paint and then you leave that for as long as you can iron it and it's good to go I now have a sea of masks. <laughs> it kind of looks a bit creepy. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it looks a bit like loads of insects like coming towards you. <laughs> but yeah, these are the ones I'm just waiting on some more ties to arrive. But yeah, I'm just gonna wait for those to dry. Um, probably leave them about a day. And my boxes arrived today. So this is what I'm gonna be sending them in. This is actually the size of a Royal Mail large letter so I can reduce the postage cost. That is about it for today. I'm gonna go and watch some more of The Crown. <laughs> so next morning I've got a scrap piece of fabric. I'm just going to place it over the little stamp I did and give it a good iron. I'm just gonna do the ones I'm taking photos of today and then I can do the rest tonight while the light's gone. I'm shooting in my parents' bathroom today because it has a big old V-Lux which just makes the lighting automatically so much better. And I'm just going to shoot the products first and then maybe shoot some with me wearing the masks. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I have my little backdrop ready and uh, this is the camera I shoot on. It's the Canon. Was it 5D and I have the 24 to 105mm lens on it so I can zoom in and out. And then I've also bought in a few of my dried flowers as possible props. So I'm just going to take them blank for almost like the website shots first I think. Now doing the trying on clips of it actually on my face and I thought I might as well show you guys what they look like on. I'll just take my glasses off quickly. You can actually wear glasses with these ones and then I often wear my glasses just over the top and I make sure that this bit is pulled up slightly and then the glasses don't steam up. I have the camera connected to my laptop and I do like a live, live view of the camera. This is what I'm looking at. I put the camera on the side because I want it portrait. And then down here, hello, <laughs> um, this is where I take all the photos. So I often put it on, so I often put it on two second timer and then I just fill around with the light settings. I can focus it here as well just by doing that, um, which is super handy. So if you have a Canon DSLR, you can get these cables I think they come with them actually or I can't remember if I bought that and then you just download the free Canon EOS utility so I've just been shooting these and I'm gonna finish off shooting them I don't think I'm gonna try all of them on because um, I don't think I need to necessarily I also have a different jumper and I bought some hair ties in to tie my hair up for a few other shots so that they all look a bit different
with the photos now I just need to go and edit them I tried to do a reels so we'll see if that turns out or turns into anything but it's actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be this is also my least favorite part is clearing up the mess of a photo shoot because my creativity just sort of takes over and I just make a mess and then I'm like oh yeah I need to tidy that away now <laughs> So I've just finished editing all of my photos in Lightroom. It is all set the next day, by the way. And I kind of want to just get this all up tonight, including the video you're watching. So yeah, I want to try and get that up, but I need to still put all of them onto the website and decide prices and check that my the rest of the toggles are going to arrive. But anyway, I've just done some things on Photoshop to go on my Instagram. Um, I did a technical flat of the mask and I haven't done technical flat in so long and I was really worried that I would forget how to do them but it just sort of came back like muscle memory which I was very happy about. So let me show you what they look like. They probably won't show up very well on the camera and on the screen but we can try. So I've done a little technical flat and I made a little logo thing so it's all sort of blue and the background is pink and then I used like a paper effect that I bought from Creative Market and I used that on all of my stuff so it kind of looks like papery effect but I don't think you guys will be able to see that. But I've just sent them over to my phone so I'm not going to use this one but that one I put one of the prints behind it and I will use that one and then I've got this one that's a logo design I made and they're just quite good to break up between all the images. So then on this app called In Preview, I have my design account in this one and I've just sort of popped it all in there and I can rearrange it in here. This is actually such a good app if you're looking for one like this. I use a different one for my main account, but I really love this and I just like how the little graphics sort of break up from all the images. So that's how it's going to look. This takes me a little while to sort out, but once it's sorted, I'm very happy. Very happy that that's done now. So when I post, I'll know exactly what to post in which order. So I use Wix as my website um, provider. Is that the right word? Um, and I upload it as a physical file. And then you just put everything on here basically. So I often start by adding the images because that can take a while for them to upload. Find all the images and then I just upload them all at one time. And then when I go and do the other one, the other masks separately, they'll all be in this big file of <laughs> images on the website. Just loaded all the products onto the website. So they are ready to go when I want them to. I will put the link to my website down below. I'm not sure if the masks will have gone up by now on my website. They could have by the time this video goes up, but if they are, then the link is down there. And I will also leave the link to my design Instagram account if you wanna see more photos of them. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.